and happening now. Thousands are gathering at a DeKalb County Park for the March for Science. Similar events are going on in hundreds of cities across the country today. Channel 2 Steve Galbach is live at Candler Park. And Steve, this is connected to Earth Day. Yeah, they're using the anniversary of Earth Day, Sophia, to push against anti-science trends in uh, culture, especially in government. I want to show you the stage over here now where they just started entertainment. The event here started at noon just a few minutes ago, expected to draw thousands here. And we'll show you around Candler Park here. This is where everyone's still coming in here. Could be up to 10,000 or more, they expect. All are going to march through this community around little five points and back starting in the next hour or so. And the program will continue back here until 3 o'clock, until 4 o'clock this afternoon in this March for Science going on now. Also in Washington, you see in other cities around the country and designed to bring together those who may not have been into public political displays in the past, but organizers say this is a nonpartisan event. The crowd, though, clearly anti-Trump with some of the signs I've been seeing, criticizing his uh, skepticism of man's role in climate change and the administration's cutting regulations, the use of coal and oil. But I did speak with the march's director, Professor at Emory, about their goal today and made it clear this is not just an anti-Trump rally. It's about science and had a message to elected leaders. There you go. We want them to see that the people actually do care about science. The people are speaking. The people are coming out. And we're speaking to our representatives. They're supposed to represent us, and that's what we're asking them to do. We're out here. We're telling them science matters. We care about these things, and we want you to make laws that are based on actual science. Um, so it's not about being anti-anything. It's about pushing pro-science policy. And in one hour from now, right at 1 o'clock, they are going to gather here at thousands and hit the streets here around Candler Park, go around Little Five Points and back to the park. And we'll show you more of the sights and sounds from this March for Science on Channel 2 Action News at 6. Live in DeKalb County, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.